I want to show you one major mistake I see students make when simplifying rational expressions, and it all comes down to the division property. The division property states that whenever you have a number, a term, or expression divided by itself, that equals one. And so what we have here is, in this example, we have two plus three divided by two. Now, obviously, we could just simplify that to five over two, right? But what a lot of students see is they think that division property, and they say, oh, well, if you just divide the two and the two, that's going to go to, you know, one. So then you'd have one plus three. Well, obviously one plus three does not equal five halves. So what is going wrong? What is this major mistake that students are making? And the major mistake that they're making is you can only apply the division property when you have your quantities separated by multiplication, not addition or subtraction. So let's go and take a look at this one. Let's go ahead and simplify the numerator. So that's going to be six over two, which is equal to three. Now below, let's go ahead and divide or apply the division property. That's going to be 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3, which is equal to 3. So you can see the division property works when we have our term separated by a multiplication, but not addition. Now, to make things a little bit more complicated, all we're going to do is add some x's. But again, we recognize here they're separated by um, addition, so therefore I need to add them I cannot divide out the two x's. So another way to look at this problem is to distribute this two x to both of these terms. So we have to do this when the terms are separated by addition and subtraction. We do not have to do this when terms are separated by multiplication and division. So you're distributing this two x to both of those terms. That's how we're getting five x over two x, which again, remember, these are now separated by multiplication again. So actually these x's can divide out, leaving us with a final answer of five halves. Whereas when you look in multiplication, we don't distribute this 2x to both the 2x as well as to the 3x. You're not dividing into both those terms. We can simply just apply the division property here to get us to 1, so therefore this equals a 3x. Now, this all comes out to a now this all gets way, way more confusing once we start dealing with expressions because students see an addition symbol and they say, oh, now terms are separated by addition here, so therefore we cannot divide them out. And in this example, you're absolutely correct, but it's not because the addition symbol of what's in the parentheses, it's what the addition symbol is that's ex that is separating the expressions. I don't have to put parentheses around here, but if I do, you can see that these two are the same, right? But since we have terms that are separated by addition, we cannot apply the division property. What we're simply going to have to do is combine our like terms in the numerator and then leave it and then leave the denominator as is. And again, since we have terms separated by addition, we cannot divide out the x's. We cannot apply the division property. We cannot divide out the twos. However, in this last example, you can see that I have expressions that are exactly the same. And in this point, I actually helped you out by putting this in parentheses, but you don't really need those parentheses there. And what you can see is these are actually separated by multiplication. So since I have two expressions separated by multiplication, even though they have addition inside of the expression, it's okay. The expressions are separated by multiplication. So therefore, those expressions, we can apply the division property and we're just gonna be left with x plus three. If you like this style of video, as well as learning about a major mistake that I see, then please feel free to comment down below and watch my other videos on simplifying rational expressions. Cheers.